God damn. Oh my God. It's so many calories. I didn't think it was this much. 2,500 calories for some McDonald's? What are you doing with your life? You're gonna die. You can't keep eating like this. God damn. Oh my God. Hello, 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 hello. Foodie booties. <laughs> I'm calling you my foodie booties. I know I, some people have called me that and I love it. Okay. I have Subway. Hey. I'm gonna show you what I got. Mom. <laughs> This must be way back in the day, because if you go to Subway now, they put like one piece of meat in the subs. So, this is, uh, this is Foodie Beauty, and she goes by a different name now, which is very sad. I don't know why she would rebrand. I mean, I thought the name of Foodie Beauty is pretty good. FF, right? I don't know. Foodie Beauty. He said, try to say that five times. Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, I dare you. I dare you. Try to do it. Try to do it correctly. You can't do it. She is a unique specimen of human being. And I am delving deep, real deep in girl world right now. And I'm discovering out all these weird, deep intricacies about this particular person. And every day I discover something new and I'm always like blown away by like all the new information. Um, Foodie Beauty has diabetes and she has a very severe form of diabetes. I remember I was watching a video on stream. By the way, we stream on this channel. Um, not every day, but you know, you can usually catch me on live stream past 6 p.m. And somebody was like, David, did you know that Foodie Beauty has diabetes and her diabetes is like really, really bad? And then she had, like, I forgot what the, the, the number was, but she has like three times like her diabetes is like her blood sugar count is like three times more than what it should be. And she was going on straight. She was like, yeah, I know my I know I'm, I know it's bad right now, but like I feel OK. And the number was like 300. I forgot like milligrams or something like that. But this woman is very, very sick, very, very sick. She lives in deplorable conditions. She has absolutely seems like so much, so many, so many times I've seen this woman with deplorable men, just men that are the bottom of the barrel in terms of like e existence, right? But that's what she likes to do. She also likes to eat, even to this day, even though she's like chronically diabetic, she still body slams copious amounts of calories. So this is what we're gonna do today. I've been wanting to try the new Italian hero because... You know, it's, it's so crazy to me when I see these sandwich counts that are a thousand, one, almost 1,200 calories for a sandwich. I just really think that this should never happen. I mean, split it in half, have half the sandwich and it's 500 calories, that's not too bad. Half the sandwich and, and some chips, not too bad. But our girl has to eat two sandwiches because that's just what she's got to do. You don't even know. But Italian sandwich, Italian meat sandwiches were always my favorite. She has too many favorites, man. And you know what? I miss this era because now she's so incredibly, like, depressing. Anytime I've watched any of her more recent videos, it's so depressing to watch our, this woman eat the foods. And she has no zest of life anymore. She's 40 now. Or she's, like, <coughs> going on 40, which is really surprising to me. I thought she was, like, younger than that. It's usually one of the, what's well, usually one of two things. It's either... You're so fat, you look old, right? So, like, let's say, for instance, you're 22. A lot of times I look at, at these, fat, these fat activists and I'm like, that person has to be 35. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, when I look at Jordan Underwood, I remember when I first saw her, I was like, this woman is, like, 35, 36, 37. And then she was like, yeah, so I'm 22. And I was like, 22 what? 22 months away from 40? You're lying to me. You're not 22. That's ridiculous. But she is. She's 22. And... With proper skincare, proper dieting, proper hygiene, you should be able to maximize the youthfulness of your appearance as much as you can. And I feel like people should do that. Unless you're trying to look like, I don't know, Martin Scorsese or you're trying to look like Clint Eastwood in your 20s. I, there's really nothing good about that unless you want to look like Clint Eastwood from back in the 60s. But even back in the 60s, he aged very quickly, like super fast. Like look at Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly and look at him like five years later. He looked like he was 50, like five years later. That movie where he was escaped from Alcatraz. I remember I was watching that movie. He's like, whoa, why is this geriatric old man 
in this like ward right now trying to escape from a prison right but then i realized like oh he's only like 34 in this movie 35 or something like that it's like why does he look so old he looked too old but i can forgive it because back in the 60s if you were to put on like you know what i'm talking about if you were to it's like the the skincare back then was like nail polish right like that's that's what you're putting on your face people thought it was gay to put on skincare and even to this day people kind of still think it's gay to put on skincare but it's not gay. You're not gay for putting on skincare, okay? You're straight. You're very heterosexual, unless you're gay yourself. If you're gay, then you're gay. But it's not a gay activity to care for your skin, right? I know a bunch of guys that literally don't even wash their face. And if they do, they do it with, like, Dawn dish soap, which is not good. And then I also know a bunch of guys that don't even wear, like, deodorant. I knew this one guy. He just didn't want to buy deodorant. But he would tell me, oh, yeah, dude, it's got, you know, this, this has lead in it or something or iron in it. Um, so I'm not going to wear deodorant ever again or whatever. This dude smelled like mm, tartar, tartar sauce consistently, like old musty tartar sauce. You would walk by him and you would sneeze because that's how heavy the scent was. I think um, you should wear deodorant. Deodorant is okay. And if you want to get the kind that doesn't have the metal in it, obviously, I think you should. But that's not an excuse not to wear deodorant, right? Anyway. Like, for real. And I got a Tropicana watermelon drink. This looks like... Doesn't this Tropicana kind of look like, what is that stuff called, dude? Shampoo? It looks like shampoo to me. 120 calories for a drink, by the way. Not cool, not good. Just drink, like, flavored water, man. So let's take a bite. Let's do it. Beauty bite? Like, this really doesn't look like 500 calories, but go ahead. Damn, bro. The way she closes her mouth when she takes a bite, it's it's always... Dude, these nails are scary. The way that her fingers are so wide and then the nails are so small. It reminds me of like a witch or something like that or like some kind of creature that's inside of a cave or something like that. It's trying to like, come into the cave, honey. You know you want it. The gold is in here. And then you go in and it's this. She's sitting there eating a Subway sandwich. What's on the Italian hero? I don't know. I just, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, dude. You know how many times I've heard Foodie Beauty say, like, I don't even know what this food is. Like, I don't know what I bought. I have no idea what's in this, but it tastes really good, so I'm going to body slam it. Like, I was watching her most recent video the other day, and she was eating a triple stack burger, okay? Like a burger with three separate pieces of meat, and she had some fries on the side, okay? And they had meat on the fries. And she was like, oh, this could be, like, chicken, or it could be uh, beef, or it could be something else. I don't know, but it tastes good. And I'm just thinking, like, aren't you, like, Muslim now? Aren't you Islamic? Aren't you supposed to, like, really monitor the foods that you're eating? How do you not know what this is? Like, do you ever order something and go, I don't know what this is? Like, you just order stuff and not question it? Don't you ask, hey, what's in that? What is on that meat? What, what is that meat? No, you don't ever ask that? You just, you just eat that shit? Just throw it in your fucking mouth? Martadella, salami, pepperoni, rigatoni. Racist. Um, I'm dumb. That's so small. Let's taste this watermelon juice. So. Damn. Mmm. Just flavor your water. So. At some point, I feel like Foodie Beauty has to just acknowledge that she's had enough time in her life. Where she's eaten, she's put in her, her mouth a ton of just really disgusting, terrible food. And that she needs to now focus on not doing that as much as she possibly can. Especially since you are literally dying from diabetes. Like, at any moment. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I remember I was watching, I don't know what it was, but it was like a podcast. And I think it was like Boogie2988. And his blood pressure was like five times higher than what it should be. Like, so high that he should be in the hospital. And he was like, nah, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. I don't know how so many, so many people can like... Look at these metrics, right? And have them in front of them and go, this is terrible. You are literally dying. And they just don't do anything about it. They just continue to live or they think that it's okay. Like you do realize that if you have stuff like that that's going on and you don't go to the doctor, you know it never gets solved, right? You, you, do you think you're just gonna, like, it's going to go away? No, that's not how it works. And the same thing could be said with diabetes. You need to treat that shit, you know? Anyway. Mm. 
210 for the bag of sun chips, which a lot of people would, consi would sit there and say the sun chips are better for you. The healthier alternative chips, which is bullshit, by the way. I, I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's like somebody going, if I'm sucking dick, I'm sucking the smallest dick. I'm sucking a Asian man's penis. When in reality, I saw a lot of Asian penises before. And there are, sure, I think that Asian penises are the ones that usually are depicted to be small. But I think that's because they're falling into the stereotype. You know what I'm talking about? Like BBCs are incredibly in style right now. Big black cocks are in style right now. Do you really think that every black guy has a big penis? No, they don't. I'm an avid porn watcher, okay? I've watched all types of porns. Everything that you could possibly think of, I've probably watched it at least 20 times, right? And the amount of black guy porn that I've seen with BBCs, sure, they have big penises, but I know a lot of black guys and they do not have enlarged genitalia to the degree that these dudes do, okay? You're not, not every black guy's gonna have the double stack. You know what I'm talking about? They're not gonna give you that fucking, you know what I'm saying? That, that No, 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 that's not how it works. Some black dudes have normal man penises and some black guys have small man penises. And the same thing could be said with Asian men. There are plenty of Asian men with massive megalodon meats, like massive meats, right? Seasoned up too. And that is okay right? They're falling under the stereotype. They know what people are going for. If you know what you, if you know what your audience is and these people are going, obviously there's a big demand for Asian men with small penises. So what do you do? You get a whole bunch of Asian men with small penises and the, the, the porn that you're watching is basically lesbian porn. Because a lot of the times when I watch these pornographies, I'm like, I don't even know what's going on. Is that even a penis or is that like a clitoris? It could just be two clitorises going like this. And I'm just thinking it's it's just vagina on vagina. But I think that's a nutsack. But I could be mistaken. It could just be a very, very small butt cheeks. It doesn't matter, okay? The point I'm making is... I don't even know what the fuck a point I'm making is, okay? The point I'm making is here is that sun chips are actually not even that good for you. Sun chung and sun... Do you guys remember sun chips? It's been so long since I've had these. I used to have these in school. The lunch mothers used to sell that shit, 100%. And they would... They, bro, I swear they were licking the wrappers, dude. These lunch mothers, bro... I, it's like they had a, they have to have a vacuum cleaner behind the, you know, and they would have like a resealer because you would buy a bag of sun chips for like 50 cents and you would get the bag and you'd be like, I'm got to have something exotic, you know, I'm not eating any of this grilled cheese dustation that the, the lunch mothers behind the counter are making you, whatever, and then you would take it back to the table, you'd pop the bag and it'd be like three chips in there and you'd be like, dude, what, three chips? And you go up to the front, be like, yo, um, lunch mother. There's only three chips in my bag. And they'd be like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, dude. Get, 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 your, get your shit robbed, bitch. Yeah, that's right. I sucked down your chips, bitch. That's what they would basically be telling you. You couldn't do anything about it. Who are you going to argue with? They were the keepers of the chips. Okay. Oh, man. The I'm fingernails gonna are creepy. Love her, but just relax. Might be a longer video. Back when Foodie Beauty had hair. Chill. Let's chill. One what? thing I often want to, like, one thing I often want, wonder about when it comes to foodie beauty is, like, people just sit there and watch her eat food and, like, she does nothing else. Like, I've literally seen 30 minute videos of foodie beauty just eating assortments of giant, giant denominations of food, right? Big portions of food, two, three pizzas at a time. Little to no voice activation at all. And I'm just, like, watching this going, who is this for? Like, who's watching this? I bet. A real deal bet. People are sitting there watching that shit, dick fully erect. I'm talking about that shit is fully bricked up, fully inflated, and you're just smashing your shit. You might be even doing one of these. You know what I'm talking about? Where you're just rubbing the top. You're like a genie bottle, right? You might be even doing one of these because you're a freak. You're waxing your shit. You know what I'm talking about? You're throwing it across the table. When you slide it across the table, it makes like a because it's so lubricated with all that semen that's been dripping off the side, I bet you that's the primary audience for this, this for this particular type of content. Who on God's green earth is watching Foodie Beauty as like a, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you at work? What are you at work? And then you're like pulling up Foodie Beauty to listen to in the background? What are you even hearing her do? Munching down, body slamming Subway sandwiches, dude? No, that's not real, okay? You're sitting at home, you're beating off, okay? And you're spitting on your shit to watch Foodie Beauty. That's all, that's it, okay? Like, right in front of me. She was like, t on her phone and she's like, talking about, well, he's gonna call me back and tell me where to meet him and blah, blah, blah. Damn. 
Unless they made a deal on Craigslist. I don't know. What the fuck is she talking about? Maybe she's selling her wall unit, but it sounded like a drug deal to me. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yo, get the fuck mm. out my face. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, if you're... You're watching that and you're seeing this woman smelling the side of a piece of bread and you're not you're not bricked up? You're not bricked up by watching that? Get the fuck out of my something. face. <laughs> if you sniff bread, comment below. I don't. That's oh well, I sniff the bread when you open up the bread, you know? And you're like, is this shit good? Cause I've eaten I've eaten green bread a few times and I don't want to make that mistake again. So now I just like real deal. Like, I take the bread and I'm like looking at it like, oh, I just make sure that it's good because I don't want to eat moldy bread again. I've eaten moldy bread like four times in my life. And that's probably all been in the last four years. Damn, dude. Rolling the eyes in the back of the head for a goddamn Subway sandwich. It's not even, it's not made with care. It's not made with passion. Somebody that made that was probably like a 16-year-old kid behind the table. That's it. He, you think you wore gloves? Probably not. But I'm home. What? Mm. This is really good. It's not that good. Damn. <laughs> and I'm always thinking about food. <gasps> That's all you gotta say, dude. That's all I need to hear, dude. I already knew. I already knew the truth about Foodie Beauty. I knew she had a big ass addiction. She has a big addiction too with very, very underwhelming men. Dudes that are like addicted to drugs, dudes that mistreat her, dudes that don't have jobs, dudes that just kind of sit all day and eat copious amounts of, I mean, she's paid for men. You know that? Like the amount of, <laughs> that's a whole nother video, but the relationships of Foodie Beauty are insanity, dude. I literally saw her say that she had like a gangbang with a whole bunch of Cuban dudes and she gave one of them a Chromebook as like payment. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being like, yo, listen, I'm going to need you to real deal. Listen, okay? Ha. I got a Chromebook, okay? If you pipe my shit down right now with that big Cuban BBC, if you give me that shit and you you just ravage me, you just give me that double stack deep inside my shit, I want you to literally scramble my egg sack. Just throw me, use me, use me, and I'll give you a Chromebook. Dude, can you do that for me? Can you give me what I need right now? I'll open my mouth and I'll take whatever you give me and I'll give you a Chromebook in return. I've never heard that before in my life. She also said that um, she had sex with somebody for a BK Whopper. So. But in my mind, um, getting a threesome for a Chromebook is actually a better deal than um, having sex with a man for a Whopper. That's kind of crazy. Not, e not even a double stack Whopper either. Not even the two, the two stacks, a one stack. A one stack Whopper, dude. And this is way back in the day when Whoppers was four bucks, maybe four bucks, man. I used to, I used to get the double, the double Whopper Juniors for a dollar. Okay, that, I don't care what anybody says. Buy two of those. Better than, better than a Whopper. Can't do that anymore though. It's actually true. But when I see greasy hair, I think of fried eggs. Okay. I don't like eggs. Okay. Maybe it's because you know how people say it's so greasy you could fry an egg on it. When I, when I hear, like, I don't like eggs, I think people are thinking about the fact that it comes out of a chicken's butthole vagina. And I think that probably turns people off. But then again, I, these are also the people that I see, like, drinking cheese melts. And then I always think, you know that's, like, fermented cow titty milk that's made not really, like, that's not a real thing. You know that? Like, they're probably just, that's probably not actually even real cow titty milk fermented. That's probably just, like, a Mexican guy just going like this with his armpits. You know, just like draining out the, the sweat and the grease and you're eating that. So, let him kiss me. Who? Um, he just gave me a little peck. It wasn't, I, I thought it would be worse. She talking about the dude, the dude that gave her the sandwich? Who, who, who kissed you again? Wait, hold on. That was fine. And then he's like, you all right? You seem distant. It was like a mix. Oh yeah, my bad. I thought I could probably kiss you after giving you this sandwich. I mean, I gave you that foot long and I was trying to give you a foot long from the foot long. I thought maybe I could initiate a little kiss. What is she talking about right now? Did the employee at the subway give her a peck on the lips while she gave the sandwich? Okay. Between like, I want to cut your head off and I want to like jump your bones. 1500 calories, by the way. You know she's doubling that, tripling that for the day easily. Damn, she really body slammed that two, two sandwiches? Damn, man. 
Man, she's still Fuck hungry, Arby's. too. What can I get for you? Nobody's ever going to Arby's, dude. This is actually disgusting. I, I don't even think I've ever even seen an Arby's in real life. I, I thought this was, like, fairy tale land. I thought this was, like, you had to go into, like, the... You know what I'm saying? You had to go into, like, the wardrobe, and you would end up in Narnia. I thought they, that was, like, the forbidden land where they would serve something like this. I didn't even know Arby's was real. I thought it was just, like, a meme restaurant. I thought they just had ads that said... Arby's, we got the meat. And I thought, ah, it's a penis reference, but it was real, apparently. Hi, can I get a number five? Is that just the sandwich or the combo today? Does it, the combo come with curly fries? Normally, yes. I can switch it out for any of other sides, though, so if you'd like. <laughs> okay, can I get curly fries with it, please? For sure. And to drink? And um, to drink, I'll have Pepsi. Damn, not even Pepsi. diet. And I mean, honestly, it doesn't really fucking matter. That's the the Pepsi is probably the best thing on Arby's menu. Um, to dip the fries in, like, what kind of? Do you have any sauce to dip the fries in? Yeah, you got like, you got any cheese back there that I can dip the fries in real quick? You got a burger that I can dip the fries in? Throw a burger on there so I can dip my fries in a burger. Uh, I have, like, we have our Arby's tangy barbecue. We have horseradish mayo, uh, salt, ketchup, vinegar. Okay, can I get um some? Barbecue sauce and horseradish mayo. Damn. Sorry, the... What was I'll, the first one there? I'll try the barbecue sauce and the horseradish mayo, some please. Some of the Arby's and some of the horse meat? Yeah. Alright, anything else I can get for you there? That's it. I think I'd rather suck off a horse than I would eat at Arby's. Alright, so your toast today is... Finish that shit off, too. Thank you. No problem. What is up, guys? In the in the parking lot, it's What crazy. is up? Welcome to round two. What do you mean, round two? Of my Arby's adventure. So, you guys all gave me shit. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean the Arby's adventure? What? Are you going on? What do you mean the Arby? What? So, you're like going to random fast food restaurants, man? Man, this woman is literally setting herself up for failure. But you know what? You know what, dude? She's failing upwardly. Like, during this time frame, she was making... Somebody told me. I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm, I'm guessing it's true because the amount of people that have authenticated this. She was making anywhere between twenty five dollars and $30,000 a month from body slamming these fast food foods continuously throughout the month. Isn't that crazy? twenty five to 30000 a month? That's insane. This woman was making like one hundred fifty k a year from just body slamming fast food, man. Crazy, man. So I'm back here. Oh my god. god I'm glad damn. I did, actually. 550 for the huh. You might as well just go to Mickey D's and get the fries there. Look at these fries. Oh my god. Damn, she real deal has the same. This is all within like the same few days, man. She's got the same uh nails here. Oh my the gosh. Acrylics. They it's... look so amazing. Yeah. Yum. Man, Foodie Beauty's actually really lucky that she can still move her body. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The fact that she's been body slamming food like this for as much as she has, for as long as she has, I, I'm I'm actually so surprised that she's even able to like operate as a normal human being. I got some of their barbecue sauce, I guess. Arby sauce. And some horsey sauce. Yeah, horsey sauce sounds crazy, dude. That real deal sounds like some horsey meat. Where is it? Here's the horsey sauce. Is this the sauce you're talking about? <laughs> and so you saw when I got the medium beef and cheddar. That shit is big as fuck. So, oh my gosh. Wow. Sandwich actually not that too bad on the huge. calories. huge. For oh as big God, as it is. You guys. Yeah, that shit's big as fuck, dude. Okay, so what do I do? What, eat that shit? Put it in your oh. mouth? What you mean? What do I do? Do I put some of this barbecue on it? Let's give that a try. Oh. You don't even know if you like it, though. Barbecue, yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, dude. She has okay. no taste buds at this point. Damn. Now, the horseradish, I'm not going to lather all over this because I'm really... People beating off to this shit, right? Like, when they see Foodie Beauty putting down on her mouth, you got your dick out. Don't lie. You probably got your dick out right now. Don't lie. Picky about horseradish sauces, so... But this is going to be so... Mmm. So messy. Damn. Oh in the God. car, too, at that. All right, here goes Like, nothing. don't you care about, like, what if you make a mess in the car? Because for me, when I eat, I want to make sure that I'm in a place that I have access to a bathroom. Just in case, because for on, I have a mustache, right? I don't know if you've ever eaten anything with a mustache before. If you're a woman, maybe you're a Latina, because I know a lot of Latina girls that have big mustaches, more mustache than me, to be honest. I knew a girl that used to have to shave like once a week for her mustache. It's craziness, right? 
But anyway, the point I'm making is like when you eat food and you know when you when you take a bite of something, like for instance a sandwich, I have to, have to cut that in half so I can put appropriate portions in my mouth and not have it completely cover the circumference of my mustache. Because I've had times where I've eaten something and then I just like walked outside and I had like spaghetti sauce or marinara or something like that in my mustache. Nobody said nothing. Nobody said shit about it, right? Nobody gives a fuck about you. Nobody cares about you. They're just watching you walk around all day with onions in your mustache. That's not cool. Not cool, dude. Tell me. Tell me I got some shit in my mustache. There's no mirrors around here. I don't even know what my phone is when it comes to taking pictures. I take one picture a month of myself, and that's a dick pic. So I'm not even looking at myself. I'm just looking at my penis. But the point I'm making is here, when you have a mustache, it's hard to eat food, okay? And then also, it is a flavor saver. So if you do, like, suck a guy off or you're eating vagina, you will eventually go, like, <sighs> vagina or penis, whatever. I don't know. Do penises actually have a flavor? It depends on how seasoned they are. If it's a black guy, it might be cocoa butter seasoned or maybe um, lari seasoning salts or some garlic powder or something like that. I did know a dude, he used to tell me that before he went out with a girl, he would season his shit up a little bit. He would go to the kitchen and he would put some garlic powder on that real quick, let it season, let it sit there, let it marinate. Then he would wipe it off with a baby wipe. And then when a girl came over and she was sucking, suckling succotash on his shit, she'd be like, oh my... Oh my God, it's so, it's so tasty. It's so, wow. You're, you, I thought maybe it was something I could do too, but maybe it's just a black guy thing. I don't know. I've never really, anytime I've done it, it just falls off the side. Maybe it's gotta be like a little moist, you know? It's gotta have a little bit of uh, moisturization to it. My, my, my penis is not usually moisturized like that. I don't know if black guys just have a moisturization meter or something like that, or maybe like their underwear is just like a environment where you know what i'm talking about where shit like uh whatever like a greenhouse of bbc's i don't know man whatever the point i'm making is when you're in your car and you're eating it's probably going to be really fucking messy especially if you're literally introducing like barbecue sauces and horse horse sauce all over the shit it's going to be crazy damn mm. beauty bite what do you mean beauty bite that's just a basic bite oh damn <laughs> <sighs> Damn. Mm. Damn, dude. Come on. So, the onion bun. Mm. Dude, the food's Actually, already there. thank you guys for giving me shit for not trying this. Like, you're, <laughs> you're licking your fingers, right? And then you're going to touch your, your steering wheel. I know you don't wipe down your steering wheel. Nobody does. That shit's about to be contaminated with the foodie booty mouth water. Damn, you body that shit like that? That's just gone. Damn. Yo, calm down. Where the fries at? You didn't eat the fries? It doesn't taste the same. Um, as, you know, like deli roast beef, because I don't really like that <clears throat> very much. What? What do you mean you don't like it? Then why would you go to Arby's? Isn't that all they sell? That's like somebody going like, ah. I don't really like hamburger meat, really, if I'm going to keep it a buck. Hamburger meat is not really my favorite. I never really liked it. But we're going to go ahead and go to McDonald's and pick up a couple McDoubles real quick. What are you talking about, man? Mm. It's not that good. It's not that good. Damn. What is your median value for food is 1,500 calories per meal? Bro, you can't live like this. Like, I mean, you can live like this. She's obviously succeeding. But... Not sustainable. I mean, the fact that she made it to 40 eating the way that she has been eating is actually an anomaly. I can't believe it. Good job on her genetics. Good job on her mom and dad for giving her amazing durability genetics. And also, thank you for modern medicine as well because that, that is a big-ass one-up for this. Look at the fucking sodium. God damn. That shit's almost 4,000. What is it, like 2,000, 2,300 for like what you should eat in a day? Can you imagine literally doubling that in one meal? God damn. Mm. What? Ugh, I know. One thing I've noticed too is that she's always out of breath after she eats. Almost kind of like that's just weighing her down. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, damn. My stomach is so massive. Like my lungs are being compacted. I'm not perfect. No shit. I mean, I never said I was, you okay. know. That's a, definitely a reason to not be better. You know, I never said I was going to be good, so. 
I have all my McDonald's favorites today, so let's get to it. She looks two. old here. Get the fuck out my face. What are you doing right now, man? What is that? God damn. So you got the five piece, right? Is that a five piece? How many large fries is this? Is this two large fries? Oh, man, that's a thousand calories right there. Is that two drinks? You got two drinks? Oh, because she got the meals. She got the meals, dude. She got two meals. I don't even know what these are. I have so many sauces in this bag. They really... Honestly, that's what I love about um, McDelivery is that they always get all the sauces you want. Like, sometimes when I go through the drive-thru, they forget some things. So I have some Fruitopia strawberry. 170 for the drink is actually pretty light. Uh, that must not be soda. <sighs> Now, I do love filet of fish. I, let's just face it. I like pretty much the whole McDonald's menu. Yeah, well, I knew it, dude. That's a, You know what, bro? Keep it a buck. That's that's truth. That's truth. I'll give her that. The whole McDonald's menu, that's all you got. I knew it. I knew it, bro. At least she's keeping it honest. These are just some of my favorites. So this is barbecue, sweet and sour. These here That's are actually crazy, bro. So 46 calories per? Damn, dude, sweet and sour sauces. Oh my God, so many calories for these sauces. Big Mac sauces. People sleep on the sauces. Big Mac sauce for 90 calories is serious. Dip your fries and your burger. I don't even, I don't, do you guys, hold on. Write it down below in the comment section. I need to know this. Do you actually like the Big Mac sauce? Because anytime I've ever had the Big Mac, and you know they throw the sauce on there, I'm always so disappointed at that. It's just not really good to me. It's just like really salty mayonnaise. I don't like it. It doesn't taste good for me. Um, give me the QP. Put some extra onions on it. That's all I need. That's all I need in my mouth. I don't like the QP sauce. I know some people live and die by it. What do you guys think? I don't like it though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. So first I'm going to eat this Big Mac. She got a Big Mac, huh? Oh. She must got the mayo mediums. and ketchup. <laughs> so, the Big Mac actually has no meat on it because that's how I like to eat my Big Macs. What do you mean it has no meat on it? Is that what she said? I'm sorry? It actually has no meat on it. What do you mean no meat? What did you say? The bread? That's how I like to eat my Big Macs. Just the sauce, cheese, and bun. What? Lettuce and onions. Basically, Big Mac without any meat. You just got bread and sauce? Is that what I'm hurt? Like, what, what the. You didn't go to the grocery store? What are you talking about? Hold on. Are you buying Big Macs without meat? What is the purpose? Have you ever had ketchup and mayo fries? Hey, bye. I dip it in sweet and sour and barbecue. She's out of breath from just even looking at this shit. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, she double dipping, dude. Hold on, let me see that shit Let's real give quick. You... This is good. Oh. Okay, so they did put one patty, which is okay. What? Hear me out for a second, dude. Hear me out. This is going to be a controversial take. I'm about to drop a black pill, okay? If you go into Mickey D's and you get a Big Mac with no meat, that's dumb. That is literally some, you have a mental deficiency. What are you doing? Just go to the grocery store, buy some buns, and buy some lettuce. I don't even. What are you doing? And also, this is gonna sound even worse. You're going to Bur You're going to McDonald's. You're getting a Big Mac with one piece of meat. Just get a, just get a burger. Just get a burger. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? This woman's failing in ways that I didn't even know were possible. Why didn't you get the two pieces of meat? By the way, uh, you, uh, I just realized you guys can't see the food. I'll move myself down here for now. I didn't realize. My bad. But, dude, my goodness, dude. Look at the fucking calories. 450 calories. She's missing out really on like 50 calories or a little bit more. Maybe like 100 extra calories maybe for the extra piece of meat, which I don't know why you wouldn't just throw in. It doesn't really matter. And in in the, in this whole big giant fucking tray smorgasbord of food, you might as well throw in an extra hundred. Let's give you a beauty bite. Just bread and this one piece big of Mac. meat, dude. Sad. 
and dip it while there's a lot of sauce on it. Damn. Mm. Damn. Where a bib. Damn. Why does it sound like bones? Like she's munching into a bone. This is a quarter pounder with cheese. <laughs> she got a QP. Listen, dude, you're not gonna, you're getting a QP and a Big Mac. That's crazy, dude. A Q, I thought that was a double. I thought that was a McDouble or maybe just a single. Um, a QP with a Big Mac. Oh man, I know big men. I know big men that are gone after this shit. I know a dude. He could body slam. That's his usual, right? He'll go to he'll go to Mickey D's and he'll get a QP and he'll get a Big Mac, right? That's what he'll get. He he's done after that. Like he's body. He's on the floor. Like he needs his fucking milk and cookies, right? His mom needs to come in and put the blanket on him because he's done. He's slumped over. This woman, no problem. Big Mac, QP, fries, fries, six piece drink. She gonna drink the sauces probably. Two drinks is serious. This is a Big Mac. No problem for her. Nuggets. Guys, so what a beautiful time to be alive, man. We could real deal just watch big women eat disgustingly high calorie counts of food. I just realized that you guys weren't seeing it, it didn't matter. She didn't really show much. <sighs> mm. it's, 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 not, it's not that good. Oh man, licking your fingers, bro. Is this what the founding fathers would have wanted for us? I know she's Canadian. I do. But the fact that she's sitting here doing this and like all the people that came before her, you know, all the people that lived and, and died to facilitate this lifestyle. Do you think that they're up in heaven and they're looking down at Foodie Beauty and going like, this is it. This is exactly what I wanted for everybody. All the people in creation. This is it. This is what we this is what we real deal fought for for our whole lives. And died for. And so that foodie beauty can sit down, body slam about, you know, about 1,500, maybe 2,000 calories per sitting. And record it for the internet to make exorbitant amounts of money only to repeat the process and probably not make it through, I don't know, uh, 45. Because you have diabetes and that's just literally moving bricks through your veins. Oh, man. I don't think. You think that the great big spaghetti monster in the sky or God, whoever you believe in, is looking down at this? If he is, he's looking at this and going, damn, you did this with your life? I gave you legs. I gave you arms. I gave you the ability to run and walk and do all this great stuff. And you decided to, to waste it on some Mickey D's? Come on. Damn. This woman is on some different shit, dude. I can't believe she could sit down in one sitting this shit. Got the QP. Damn. She's so happy when she took that bite, too. Yeah, the six piece gone, dude. The fries gone. The fries? Yeah. Oh. With the Big Mac sauce <laughs> is really good. You gotta calm mm. down. Oh man, dude. She rolling her eyes every time she takes a bite. <sighs> god damn! Oh my god! There's so many calories! I didn't think it was this much! 2,500 calories? For some McDonald's? What are you doing with your life? You're gonna die. You can't keep eating like this. God damn. Oh my God. Look at the sodium. Five G's? You five stacked the sodium? Oh man. This woman eating like she on life support. Damn, bro. This is like the final supper every single day. Dude, you can't be eating like... It's Thanksgiving every single day of your life. Every meal is Thanksgiving to you. Oh, damn. I think I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah, you done. <laughs> oh, yeah, you done. That's a fact you done. You cooked. It's over. I think I can eat any more. The fries is done. But this was very delicious. Ah. So, guys... 
I guess that's it for now. Not a very long video today, but I was just really hungry. Or maybe what do you, do, what do, you do after this? Like, do you just like fall asleep? Do you just like fall on the floor and that's call it a day? This is disappointing, man. I can't believe that people live like this, dude. We're, we're, I hope, I really hope, okay? Hear me out. I really hope that Foodie Beauty gets the help that she needs. But given that the fact that this video came out four years ago and she's still doing it to this day, like if you go on her channel right now, Everyday Mirin or whatever it's called, um, she, every single day, I'm not every day, but you'll see a video on her shit every day or every two days of her body slamming some crazy amounts of calories. I mean, I literally just saw her body slamming a triple stack burger that was like this big. She literally took a bite of it and couldn't even fit it in her mouth, which is crazy, by the way. I mean, she bought that with like, a ton of fries, too. It's never going to stop, dude. This woman's literally diabetic to the bone. All right. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. But you know what? You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. You're a beautiful specimen of human being. I'm glad you're here with me today. I'm glad for the progress that you're doing. I'm glad you're not in a sitting like this. I hope this video, like, oh, I hope this video that we just watched today um, helped you in your quest of trying to discover better Food dietary decisions because this shit is always eye-opening when I see Foodie Beauty eating crazy high amounts of calories like this. The fact that this is even possible nowadays is really a blessing in the sense that you can go to you can go to McDonald's or all these other places and you can get food. But just because you can doesn't mean you should. You understand this should always be everything you do should be preferenced with, okay, I think this might be a little bit too much or like you're going too far because everything is okay within limits. Once you go too far, it's too far. When it comes to foodie beauty, too far, too far, too far, way too far, way too far, dude. How long, how long can you be obese with this like debilitating condition and not realize I need to do something? I don't know. Uh, but it's apparently it's been many, many years and even upwards of a decade, apparently. And Foodie Beauty is still at it. It's still going at it strong, too. Don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter, okay? It's just disappointing. Um, I hope that you're having a great day today, by the way. I hope you're having a really great day. I'm having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in QP because that's my favorite McDonald's item, which is... uh. The best. I don't care what anybody says. A QP is the best. I mean, I don't get them very often. I probably get them like maybe once every month or two, probably, depending on if I'm ever next to a McDonald's and I'm not like, I didn't eat anything for that day. I might get one QP, um, but I haven't got one in like two months, probably. I don't really like spending money very often. Um, and when I do, I find it easier to spend money on other people than it is myself because I find it very hard to like think. I always, I always preference when I buy things. I always go, if I buy this, like, do I really need this? Like, I have pants. These are going to fit me. But then I come home and I'm like, oh, yeah, but I forgot my pants all have holes in them, right? Luckily, the pants that I'm wearing today don't have holes. So, you know, these ones that I got right here, they don't have holes. But um, most of my pants have, do have holes. I do have some, like, chinos, I guess, that I bought for, like, 10 bucks last year. Those fit me well, but they're kind of weird because some of them have stains on them that just don't go away. And I've tried everything. They just won't go away. But it doesn't matter. You know what? It's okay. If you were here, I would spend money on you because you're amazing, you're a beautiful person, and I would give you my collection of bottle caps that I seem to not be able to get rid of. But anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, and my second channel. Like I said, we stream here on the channel. Um, usually later on in the day, around 6 p.m., you can usually catch me around that time. Uh, maybe not on Mondays, though, probably not, but it's okay. If you want to tune in, you can tune in. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.